After President Yoram Seveni signed the Uganda Human Organ Donation and Transplant Act into law in May this year, a number of medical institutions are now rallying resources to provide this service to Ugandans, and among them is Lubaga Hospital, which today unveiled a state-of-the-art organ transplant theater. <laughs> Named after Dr. Rita Mosa, one of Lubaga Hospital's long-serving medical superintendents, the theater was built at a cost of one billion shillings and will, among others, offer kidney and liver organ transplants. Transplant theatres we have commissioned were built using the same instruction that was stated in the organ transplant law. Is we are going to form a team, because right now as a country we are starting from zero. So we are going to form a team and that it's that team that is going to work together to make sure that we do transplants in the country. For these transplant procedures to be carried out, the hospital will have to follow some medical procedures. The transplant council must go through all the paperwork to confirm the identity, to confirm the accuracy of the diagnosis, to confirm that there is no fraud involved, and to give a go ahead. Even if we can do one transplant a month or one in three months, it's still better than doing nothing. So the most important thing is to start. However, the theatre is not expected to start its operations immediately owing to the absence of a National Transplant Council which is supposed to oversee organ transplant procedures in all medical institutions. According to the law, this council can only be constituted by the Ministry of Health. The council has, is being appointed by the minister. The names have been proposed. Of course, they have to go to cabinet for approval, but it will be in place within about a month because people are ready. The signing into law of the Human Organ Donation and Transplant Law and the subsequent establishment of organ transplant theatres is intended to decrease on the high costs incurred by patients seeking for similar services in foreign countries. Currently, people seeking for these services abroad have to spend about 60 million shillings without even accounting for transport and accommodation expenses. On average, we about five. About five. It's a very common, very common transfer abroad because sometimes you are even like here, they can call you, there is an urgent clearance here to do. Not tell how much it will cost, but it will be substantially cheaper than what you spend to go to India and spend there a month, a month and a half. Until 2019, the practice of organ transplants was a sensitive matter for the Catholic Church, which owns Lubaga Hospital. However, on 13th April of 2019, Pope Francis issued a document at the Vatican allowing for organ, tissue and cell transplant, but only in special circumstances. In his words, the Pope declared that developments in transplant medicine have made it possible to donate organs after death and in certain cases in life so as to save other human lives, to conserve, recover and improve the state of health of many sick people who have no other alternative. As such, the Archbishop of Kampala Diocese, Paul Samongerede, attended the function and took the opportunity to launch the construction of a specialist centre named after his predecessor, the late Dr. Ciprian in Chizitolwanga. Everybody will be taken care of. We shall ensure that uh, there is no preferential treatment. We make sure that the rich are catered for, but also those who can afford, moderate who afford, can be assisted to come and get assistance. The Archbishop also took this chance to remind hospital administrators of their responsibility of providing patient care to patients alongside medical treatment. When it is good, it's not hard of anywhere, but when it is, comes to be a bad, a bad thing about Uganda, everybody in Uganda hears about it. So let us be mindful of our patient care in the different areas, including uh, our patients. Archbishop Samuel Gedele later presided over the swearing-in of the hospital's new board of directors, which oversees the running of the hospital. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.